This is Billy Graham morning. <laughs> I don't like that man. You know why I don't like him? Because he is so likable. I don't like people who are likable. I think I got a book over here. Excuse me. I think I got it. Yeah. Billy Graham and his friends. This talks about his political friends, how he puts his approval on the World Council of Churches who teaches that there's no virgin birth. He teaches, he goes along with preachers who don't believe in the virgin birth. He goes along with preachers who don't believe in the resurrection. And when you read this book, it'll throw you into a state of shock. There's also one called Smoke Screens. It'll tell you the truth about the man. He is hiding behind this facade of being a nice guy. I'm correcting him, and Jesus was correcting the nicest guys in the world throughout the gospel. The Pharisees were not, they didn't look like snidely whiplash, you know have a long mustache and twitching their mustache going, <laughs> I got you, my sweetie. That's not what they look like. They look like Baptist preachers carrying their Bibles with their three-piece suit and their little watch file. They were the nicest guys around. The, the Jewish world revered them as the most holy men of God. Just the way America reveals, reveres this man. He is corrupt to the core. Billy Graham made the statement about St. Francis of Assisi. The Roman, St. Francis was a nutcase. He would go out and separate and, and become a hermit and be in a monastery and swear to God he'd never eat meat again. And then he ate meat one time and he, when he was sick, he ate some meat and he went into town and took a whip with him and knocked on doors and said, beat me with this whip, beat sin out of me. He was, a, he was a fruit cake. It's a fruit loop. Whoop, 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 whoop. He was going, going around going. <laughs> He's cuckoo for cocoa puffs. You know. <laughs> he was crazy. Even the Catholics know that. And the Catholics said he was so holy, he walked around about two feet above the ground. And Billy Graham said that St. Francis of Assisi was so holy that he was not worthy to tie his shoelaces. Billy, you had never read about him, have you? He was nutty. <laughs> and the Roman Catholic Church in the book Smoke Screens, documentation, said that he was more Catholic than otherwise. Said that Billy Graham was more Catholic than otherwise. And they presented him with doctor's degrees from Loyola University which was named after Ignatius Loyola, who began the Order of the Jesuits, and they were the hit men during the Inquisition that killed 60 million Christians and Jews. <laughs> Billy hasn't even done his own research. I'm not going to call him doctor. If, he, if he's a doctor, my dog Cowboy is a doctor. He doesn't doctor anybody spiritually. He's disgusting. If you want to get one of these, I'll order you one. It costs you whatever it costs to get it. You can order these from Jack Chick in Ontario, California. Billy Graham and his friends. This will shock, this will shock you down to your toenails to see what he puts his approval on. He wants to be friends with the world. He wants everyone to like him. When Jesus preached to the Pharisees, he didn't care if anybody liked him or not. I don't care if anybody likes me. I'm going to tell you the truth if you kill me. If you kill me, I'm going to be better off. I'll be out of this crazy world. A guy called me last night and said, I was in danger. You need to be careful what you say. I'm not going to be careful. I'm going to use great plainness of speech. I'm too old to care. I don't really care what anybody thinks. I don't care what my wife thinks. I don't care what my son thinks. 
I don't care what my daughter thinks, and I hadn't seen her, but she's 50 years old this month. She don't want anything to do with me. I hadn't seen her in 25 years since she's 25. I don't even know what she looks like. Wouldn't recognize her if I walked up to her on the street because she hates what I'm preaching. If you really come to a place, but you know what will bring you to this place? Let me be real plain with you. What will bring you to a place of not caring is learning. The more you learn, the more grieved you become. That's what Ecclesiastes tells us in the first chapter, that last verse. When you get much knowledge, much grief comes. When wisdom comes to your life, you're, you're overcome with sorrow. And when you get overcome with sorrow and grief because you see what's going on in the world, then you say, look, here's what I got to live for. Here's the truth, and you'll say it. You don't get strong spiritually. In order to be strong spiritually, you have, a lot of, you have to have a lot of spiritual strength. And that comes in the knowledge of the Word. You want to know where it comes from. Don't expect to get strong overnight. Use what you have. Use the knowledge you have. And as you use it, grow and use a little more. If you learn a new Word, go out and use it. Use it enough till it gets to be second nature. If you learn four or five Greek words here, go out and use them. And then you don't have to cram them down people's throats. Just use them. Well, you know, that word means so-and-so. And if they want to hear it, fine. If they don't, say, well, then I won't tell you. Walk away. You use it and you learn more. And you learn a little at a time. And all this information will accumulate. But use plainness of speech. The reason Billy Graham doesn't use plainness of speech, it's very simple. He knows very little about the Bible. If he knew anything,